kids, Miss Kulkani here. Let's continue with more acids and bases. And let's talk about conjugate acid base pairs. So, how do we get conjugate acid base pairs? Remember, the basic difference between an acid and base is simply one proton. Acids are proton donors and Bases are proton acceptors. So, if you remember that when acid loses a proton, what it forms is a conjugate base. And base, when it gains a proton, what it forms is a conjugate acid. Let's look at the example here. Hydrochloric acid is reacting with water. And what does it do? It donates or loses that hydrogen or proton and when that happens that keeps chloride ion behind so from an acid when proton is lost what do we get a conjugate base and we have water water can actually act as acid and base and we will talk about that more in detail later but in this case water is gaining one proton and that forms hydronium ion. So what happens? Water is acting as base here and what we get hydronium ion is a conjugate base. Well, let's find out conjugate acid base pairs in this reaction. Let's first of all form the pairs. One of the pair I see is phosphate ion and HPO4 negative 2. What do we see here? This hydrogen is an extra there. That means this is a base and that must be a conjugate acid. And look at water and hydroxide. Water is losing one hydrogen and we end up getting hydroxide. So in this case, water is acting as acid and this is conjugate base. One thing to keep in mind is we always label acids and base on the reactant side and we always put the word conjugate when it is product side. In second example, we have this as one pair and then we have, of course, this is the second pair. So the first pair which we got is having one more hydrogen on this side. That means that must be acid. It's on the product side that must be conjugate acid and then that must be base. When we look at these two pairs, there is extra hydrogen that means that must be an acid and that must be conjugate base. So it's simple. First find the two pairs and then find out which one is rich in hydrogen like this one. This is rich with hydrogen that means that is acid and this side must be conjugate base. And when that happens, you can actually predict this must be base and that must be conjugate acid. Alright, let's take some more examples and predict the conjugate acids and bases. Keep in mind that an acid will always have one proton extra. So, extra hydrogen ion makes it an acid and a conjugate base has one less hydrogen ion. So now it becomes simple. Now keep in mind the charges will also be different. If we have one extra hydrogen ion, the charge is going to go higher by one unit. And if it is less, the charge is going to go lower. Let's take the first example. Ammonia, when it has extra hydrogen, what does it form? NH4. And the charge is zero for ammonia. The charge goes up by one, so it's ammonium ion, NH4 positive one. In this example, if ammonia works as an acid, then it's going to lose one proton. If that happens, we are left with only two protons, NH2. What happens to the charge? The charge is zero here for ammonia. The charge goes down and we get negative one as the charge. So. If you use that theory, look at this. What do we end up getting? We get for each of the base one extra hydrogen. 
the charge goes up by 1, negative 2 became negative 1 here, 0 became positive 1 here, and when we consider the base, the charge goes down by 1. And in this case, we need to find out the correct pair for each of that. HF is given as a conjugate acid. If it's a conjugate acid, I should have some base, but we are not going to have any conjugate base or acid to fill in. An acid is always rich in hydrogen, so a base will be one less hydrogen. That means it's fluorine, but what happens to the charge? The charge goes down by one, so it's fluoride minus one and so on. So easily we can find out the charges for all the remaining one. So if you just keep in mind that acid and conjugate base form a pair, and a base and conjugate acid form a pair, we are good to go with conjugate acid and base pairs. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in next video. Until then, bye-bye.